Hello everyone, welcome back. And this list is gonna be based on my opinion, so keep that in mind. And all of these gacha games is worth playing in my opinion. And I still do play all of these games in 2024. I don't know why people are giving a lot of crap for this game, especially in the mobile version of this game. But when you play it on PC, it is just smooth as hell gameplay. And what I love about this game is obviously the gameplay. And we can choose up to 3 heroes, like your you know, pets if you have played Summoner's War. And one more is your summoner. And that creates a lineup that we can adjust in a very not brainless way. So yes, you have to think about the lineups that you want to have with your summoner. You have a lot of choices in the summoner department. Like you have a guardian, you have an archer, you have an assassin, you have a mage, and you also have a healer. Well, yeah. So that is why depending on your summoner that you want to choose or that you want to play with, your lineup will differ from each summoner or each lineup, I mean. So yeah, Summoner's War Chronicles is a very good game, especially if you don't want to play everything in auto, this game is the game for you. Honkai Star Rail. Obviously, this is gonna be in the list because, yes, till this day, Honkai Star Rail is an awesome gacha game and pretty much a top tier game. They also recently have a Honkai Star Rail 2.0 version update, so that's pretty cool. The gameplay is simple and accessible for new players, yet complex and satisfying at the same time. It is quite rare for a gacha game to achieve this amount of consistency. Like, they nail in every aspect of the game. Graphics is good, UI is clean as hell, probably my favorite UI in any gacha game. And always improving in the quality of life features. Honestly, this game should be higher than in number 4. But then again, this is my list, and wow. The reason why this is sitting in number 4 is because I don't really enjoy it anymore. I only come back once in a while when I'm in the mood to play this game and grind for my favorite character. Uh, I don't know man, uh, I just don't enjoy the events they are giving at us anymore. Even the missions, even the main story. I know the main story is more interesting than Genshin Impact, that's for sure. I just find it very bare bones, especially like at the stale cutscenes, like when they just talk and talk, with so many pauses between dialogue and even the main character dialogue choices. And without skip cutscenes, it is just too hard to come back. But the gameplay is where it's at, I fucking love the gameplay of this game and all the dungeons like worlds, what is that world again? Simulated universe, just any dungeon in this game is absolutely phenomenal and of course the events, even if I don't really enjoy it but I know it is a good event. And that is why a lot of people like this game and it is making a ton of money. Yeah, so if you haven't tried out, please try Honkai Star Rail. If you love turn-based gacha RPG, then this game is for you. And of course, it's free, so if you don't like it, you can just get the fuck out, as always. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Punishing Grey Raven. Yes, I still play this game till this day. I know this is an old footage, but yeah, sometimes I do check this game out. I know this is not in my number one despite it being a very good gacha game, especially the only action gacha game, like the best action gacha game in the market is because it doesn't have auto mode. I, I know, I know, it is a silly thing, but when I play gacha game, I want to do something else too. Honestly, I play this game only for the combat. I don't really care about anything else in this game. So this game's combat is fast paced and challenging at the same time. Yes, you can progress brainlessly in the earlier stages of the game, but when you're at the end game, it is goddamn challenging. You gotta learn all the mechanics of the bosses to defeat them. So if you are looking for an action gacha game and a challenging one, unlike Genshin Impact, please 
try this game out and not to mention this game is not open world so it's a good game to play while you are taking a shit or even when you are waiting for someone in malls, in toilets, anything. It also has a PC client so you can play this on PC without using an emulator and use a controller. I know you can use the controller when you are playing also in mobile or emulator but PC client man it is where it's at. You do need to get used to the controls if you want to play with the controller though because I find myself getting hit all the time because I forgot what's the controls. Yeah, not a very good time. So PGR again, a very recommended one till this day and of course it is made by Kuro Games who is making Woodring Waves and I think it's gonna be released in 2024 man, I think so. So yeah, PGR, a good game, please try it out. Grand Chase, yes, Grain Chase is still in the list. For me, Grain Chase is classic. I mainly play this game because of the real-time combat and I fucking love it. it Maybe because I came from King's Raid. That game also has a real-time combat and plays similar to this game. So this game has amazing visuals and impactful gameplay, good over-the-top animation and of course good quality of life features. I mean, what's not to love about it? About this game, it's Grain Chase. Okay, so the only downside of this game is just that the grind can be quite choring to do because it's really the same thing over and over and over again every day. It's not like Summoner's War or even Epic 7 where you can choose what you want to grind. Like you want to choose the dungeon, for example, today you want to grind for this material and the next day you want to grind for that material. No, this game doesn't have that. This game only grind every day the same dungeon over and over and over again. So yeah, it, it can be quite boring at times. But nonetheless, it is a good gacha game that I gladly play money for. Oh, and speaking of spending money, this game skins is mwah, chef's kiss. So good. So fucking good. And of course, the last but not the least, it is Epic 7. Well, if you ask me why, it's because the only gacha game that I play every day. Yeah, wow, till this day, wow. So the reason why is because of the game's visual is still top tier. I would say it is timeless, please do agree with that. With a lot of good quality features right now, they even have 2 times speed up, yeah. Man, we've been waiting that for so, so many years and now we got it. And of course, the updated UI. Yes, the UI is super clean right now and I really love it. Many people don't like it. I love it. So I don't give a damn about them. Note that in a gacha game, I am not a competitive player. So I don't really play PvP, but people seem to be bitching a lot about the PvP that the new hero is always unbalanced and blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't care. Let's just be real here. I mainly play gacha games for its PvE content and I do enjoy the content because they have good quality of life features and a lot of new characters. So for now, I am really enjoying this game and I love the grind in this game. So that's basically it. And they do give us a lot of freebies like the equipment, new characters, in-game cash currencies, like a lot of freebies in this game. I haven't paid a single dime in this game and this game has this like battle pass and you can also pay that battle pass with your in-game cash currencies so you don't need to pay extra money for that so that is super nice all right that is basically it five games five best games that i still play till this day because of my own reason this is my list it's not anyone's list all right this is based just on my opinion Hope you can agree with that and hopefully you guys are enjoying this video as well as much as I do making this one. As always, have fun with your games. You don't need to give a shit about what other people say that you are playing. So enjoy your games and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Damn.